Sasha for netbooknews.com and I'd like to give you my more detailed review of the new Rock Melt browser. I already did my hands on like two or three days ago. I've been using this browser since uh, it came out now and I've been really using it all day long and actually I really like it. Right? Even though it's a, it's a beta version but I think it has really some potential and I'm already a user of uh, the Google Chrome browser on all of my netbooks because I think it's just the perfect browser for a netbook. It gives you a lot of extra screen real estate compared to a Firefox uh, browser or to uh, an Intel, uh, not an Intel, but a Microsoft Internet Explorer. So um, let me just tell you what I really like about the Rockman browser. First of all, I got so used to um, this Facebook connection. So if I want to talk to friends of mine, for example, uh, over here is Evram from Laptop Mac, and I can immediately chat with him, and I can see what was going on on his Facebook wall, right? So it's it, it, it's just really cool. Actually, I, I can I can use this little window over here. And I can even resize it to full screen. I'm using a high resolution display here. It's 1920 by 1080, so 1080p. And yeah, it's just uh, pretty comfortable to see what's going on uh, uh, on the Facebook wall of the friends of mine. Um, what I also like is finally the, the Twitter connection. I had some problems in the first uh, two days. It seems to work out right now. Uh, is the way I can um, I can use Twitter, it's basically like like a little Twitter client. Again, I can drag this out of the browser again. And um, for example, when I'm taking a look at um, the replies and people are chatting to me, I can see the whole conversation on Twitter. Like over here, oops, that was the share link. So when I'm clicking over here, you see all the tweets and replies I had with Amber, Mr. Structor, or when I'm talking to Lydia, yeah, you can see the whole conversation. That's pretty decent. What's not working are the lists. I don't know why, but our lists are just not showing up at all. And it also, if someone would, would post a picture, there you go. It's immediately integrating the picture into this little uh, into the tweet so that that's very comfortable and I really got used to this so I'm actually not using uh, a Twitter client right now even though that I'm a, a big tweet deck fan um, I also got a couple of plugins Chrome plugins in here actually they're not really working so that's a uh, kind of disadvantage of Rockmart right now this Google Mail plugin is just not refreshing it's not telling you when I'm getting new mails um, also, when you have a couple of RSS feeds that you want to get on the sidebar, I have like Engadget over here, and uh, here's Lilliputing. Um, it's getting kind of crowded, so you can't place a lot of RSS feed, uh, RSS streams on this right sidebar. I'm also using a quick link to our WordPress backend, so I can immediately switch over to the backend and work on this. What I also like is uh, the way you can share websites. For example, here's a new story from Sean from Engadget about the new uh, Samsung Orion uh, dual core CPU. So I'm just clicking it, and I'm shifting it up, and there you go. You can share it with Facebook and Twitter. And also, what's cool is you can search for your Facebook friends. Look, I'm typing in Nicole, and there's Nicole Scott, and it immediately would open. Uh, a little window to chat with her. It's not working on Twitter, so if I would type in any Twitter name, it's just not working. It's just working for Facebook. It would be really decent if they can also make it work for uh, Twitter. Um, another plug-in that I'm using is uh, Feedly, which is also not showing me the updates, uh, if any new stories coming up. So if you guys are sick and tired of the Google Reader, please try out Feedly. Feedly.com, it's reanimating your Google Reader. I just love it. It's kind of fetching all your data out of the Google Reader and is bringing them into a magazine style. So it, it, it's really cool. Um, a couple of disadvantages, like I, like I told you, um, the Twitter list isn't working at all. Um, it's 
when you have a lot of screen real estate and it's a high resolution this browser is just perfect with all these little um, little plugins and these little clients over here but when you're using it on a netbook at 1024 by 600 you're just running out of space with these extra sidebars on the on the left and on the right um, it's not supporting yeah, as I said the Twitter list it's not supporting um, that I can search for Twitter followers or people that I'm following on Twitter and a couple of plugins are not working and sometimes it has still has problems to connect to Twitter besides that I think it's a fantastic browser it has a lot of options especially for people that are constantly connected to Facebook you know this is just the number one browser right now even though this is an early beta version I can highly recommend it um, this is Sasha for netbooknews.com with a new Rockmelt social media browser, social network browser, social whatever browser. I don't know. Give it a name. I still like it. Thanks for watching.